It's breakup season. So more single ladies. Oh, we break up already. Oh shit. I was a control freak. There's nothing you can say to make the person feel better one. <gasps> when you see the person that you've had feelings for, start to develop feelings for other people. Uh. If you're going through a breakup, this episode is for you. This is your daily catch up. Wrap your coat, guys. Well, that sounds like <laughs> an intro to me, but okay. Why? It's breakup season. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh. But then why I need to wear a coat? Because it's going to get cold and lonely. Oh. <laughs> There's nobody to cuddle. So same temperature for me all year round. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's extra layer of shirt. So we've been so hearing funny. from quite a few of our friends, right, that it's breakup season and that they've also been comforting a lot of their friends because it's breakup season. So and when more I... single ladies. Oh, yeah. It's a matter of perspective. With yeah. baggage. It's get together season. <laughs> so apparently, there's a period of time which is right before Christmas, leading up to right after Valentine's Day, mm. where people love to break up. You know they what this logo stands for? Huh? Rebound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so apparently, it's a thing because people... At the end of the year, they usually like reevaluate their life and all that. They don't want to spend the next year unhappy, and then they use it as like a spring clean. Right. God and, damn. <laughs> and of course, leading up to the season of love, then they think about love. they think about all these things, and therefore people are more likely to break up between the time of December to well, early March. Ah, mm. uh, I see. And so, to help all of our friends out there, we're gonna talk about how do we help a friend through a breakup. Ooh. Bang, bang, bang. So that means that? if you are going through a breakup people. right now, so this hopefully this episode is for you, like, right? We're yes. gonna be here for you. Yeah. Uh, keep replaying this episode. Cry. Get well soon. Let, let your feelings Get out. Get well okay. soon. Oh my god, don't go to Jared if you're gonna break up. Hey, this too shall pass. <laughs> 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 hey, wait, don't laugh, don't laugh. It's supposed to be oh, Don't cry deep, because deep, it's deep, meaningful, <laughs> right? Okay, so have you ever had a friend right that helped you through a breakup? Because for me, right, when I went through I mean I'm only in my second relationship, but when I went through my first one, it was like a secret one. So no one even know like I break mm. up. Oh, so you just hide the pain. Uh. Mm. I just be sad at home. Uh. I don't solve my sadness <laughs> with friends. Leh. There's no need for someone else to to help me through my breakup. I just internalize it like, oh, okay. Maybe cry in front of my mum for like- Is the this first a girl thing? I don't know. Eh. Is it? <laughs> it's going to just stay at home and stop for three weeks. I don't say. Eh. Until, and, and I don't even tell my friends. Eh. Until mm. one day, one week later, they meet up like, hey, so how's your boyfriend? Oh, we break up already. That's it. They're like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I got over, gotten over mm. you. Yeah. I, I, to me, breakups are less painful oh, than sorry. my like, punches. <laughs> <laughs> like, re like rejection of someone who like you liked, but then didn't like you back. Breakup is the ultimate rejection. Like, no, you like them already, they claim they like you, they make a whole future no, but you, right? Then me out. Because when you... When you break up, like you kind of experienced what this the version of this relationship could have been already. So like, there's no like, what ifs and what could have happened. We, it would never have worked out. We tried it and we broke up. Okay, we had the good college try and it didn't work. But then the ones that you like and then they don't like you back, right? Then you are always filled with the what ifs. Uh? With the what ifs, it's like, wow, if only she liked me back, then no you, la, then you, you start fantasizing. Already, right? So your slogan uh -huh, is shoot your shot. Yes. Yeah, you yes. miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So for me, like, come the. the sorry, 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 sorry. The, pain, the more painful things are not <laughs> the breakups, but actually the, like, the ones that didn't happen. So that's the one that I've had to like internalize. So if the one more. that got away came back or like the one that never happened came back, then you'll be like, hey, they never, they never <laughs> come back. <laughs> As it's only when you break up, you're okay. I feel like for my breakups, I've had how many breakups? One and two. Two breakups. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, I think it was that mindset oh, of like, I think towards for, for my relationships, like there were, there were signs of like, okay, this is relationship is going to perhaps end already. Lah. So you, I did have that like, like mental a prep. bit longer time to kind of like right. internalize it, it not process a cliff it. Drop. Yeah, it wasn't like I think we need to break up, huh? That kind of thing. So surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> so then, you, so you just, I, I always allow myself to be set for one day. I always tell myself like, you have one day to be set, and then you move on, move on with your life. Huh? Then the one day enough. Or you got like usually, <laughs> usually not. They give yourself a week or what lah? Okay, okay a, week, a, a weekend. Week, yeah, a, a week. A week sounds better. But when 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 <laughs> when I comfort friends who break up, I always like tell them like, 
Give Ye- yourself a week. <laughs> let's go drink la. No it's la. Guys thing, Actually, la. is it? Like, oh, let's go drink. You like, like guys need support from each other when they break up. They'll text their guy friends who they don't never talk for a long time because of their girlfriend <laughs> duties, right? Then suddenly they just say like, hey, uh, I, you bro, you want to drink tonight? I, I have had a friend who broke up and then like the solution was to go like, okay, la, let's go to a bar and go drown, drown all sorrows. But drown all sorrows means what? You all talk about it? Yeah, we talk about it. Are you all, oh. I, I think it's less about talking about it and letting the person like rent. <laughs> mm. <Her>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sorrow, <laughs> Tan. <laughs> Make me feel all the pain. <laughs> you know, it's, it's I, it's we it. condemn domestic <laughs> violence. <laughs> no, because I feel like when you break up, right, there's nothing you can say to make the person feel better. One, Un- agree, disagree, agree. It's so okay. Like, yeah, well, it's okay. <laughs> like, don't, 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 don't be, don't cry because yeah. it's over. Smile because so you have to just <laughs> let the person like. <laughs> say whatever's in their head. They just they don't let them keep it inside and then like fester in their thoughts. Let them verbalize it and then maybe to them it sounds stupid. I, I, I think there's a difference though because there's there's distraction and then there's processing. So the, mm. the vocalization mm. can fall into maybe one of these two categories. Mm. So sometimes like the whole drinking thing, right? Like like mm. it's, it's funny because I think with one of my breakups, right? Alison. Oh. Was the oh. pers- was the oh. friend <laughs> was the friend was the friend, yeah. So like she helped me a lot because right, I I she seemed to be able to ask me the right questions to mm. allow me to process what the f- I'm thinking or feeling, mm. yeah. Mm. But but without that right, it would have been very very difficult because I'm stuck in the same cycles in my head with the same like narratives and the same reasoning and all that kind of thing. And it's very hard for me to break out. So I needed the external voice, mm. but. I also had the friends who just bring me go and party and drink because like there will be nights where you are just like lonely or you got nothing to do or, sort of and then you start to you start to like like simmer in that king negativity right and all the 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 the, mm. the, the toxic like thoughts of loneliness and one other thing call her back and text her account shit right then that's where maybe you need to have a friend just pull you out and distract you sure yeah <laughs> so maybe it's a balance of the two maybe but maybe. i don't think that bringing them out to drink like you you must be clear of whether this is a distraction time or this is processing time mm. oh yeah. yeah i mean mine have all been like the kind where not not party party because like party got the potential to backfire <laughs> because you put this very sad guy in like this hey, hey be fun lah then like he actually feels like oh, my life is so empty so yeah. like, I mean, like, oh, <laughs> all i do is see her then, okay, like, okay. then so it might backfire so all the times that I have been comforted or uh, I comfort friends. It's always mm. been like in a very casual drinking uh, like session where there's just alcohol there. To, and I think the alcohol is not there like simply as a distraction. I think it actually helps to lubricate. <laughs> lubricate the, the, mm. the, the emotions the and the... Okay, okay, okay. Help it go down like easier. Like loosen a bit, you know, like just to, <laughs> just to say like really what you feel, you know, just let it mm-hmm. out. You know, you want to cry, cry. I think it's interesting that you say that, right? Because, right, Maybe the question is why do you need that that lubricant mm. Mm. to help your friend who you care about open up to you about this? Like why can't you already open up? I don't know whether it's the same for girls, like men, helping somebody through a breakup, or whatever. But like why why do you seem to need courage I, I, to talk about? Feelings. It's not just me. Eh. It's <laughs> like I, I, at least in my friend group, like it's, it's just easier to like I think when you are drunk. Am I am I promoting alcohol? Courage, here? It's like you do like. You are more, more open to speak please. about your true feelings. La. Because so you your decision making is impaired. With a dude and just like sit you, there. There's a lot more digging required. So the sun is like reflecting on the surface of the water, the seagulls, right? No, I feel like for men, right? I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm guessing, right? It's mm. a bit awkward if the both of you just sit next to each other and then like, let's talk about feelings. That kind, you know, <laughs> as compared to, yeah, I just break up. Uh, take it, uh, no, no, pop, pop, pop. Like, will you go to you a guy's friend? There, there, were a girls, guy's there friend. were girls in those drinking sessions also. Uh, by the uh. way, <laughs> like, we, maybe collectively we decided. Okay, okay like, do you have a male best friend? I, yes. Okay, so this male best friend, have you helped this male best friend through a breakup before? Yeah, la, he's the one that I took him to a bar. Lo. Okay, okay. So, by his request, a, by the way. You okay, took okay, him okay. to a yeah. bar as a group or just one? To just get me and him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because so, it was like ground zero, you know. Okay, so how how did that play out? How did that conversation play mm. out? He got like he got really sad. Like, like I just met him, and then he was just incredibly like. Sad. So you met him, but you didn't know he had already. Spent. No, he said like, I we, need to meet. We need to meet. Okay. Like, like, so he didn't tell you what it was about. No, I think I got all the context. We did. I said like, do you want to meet up and like, 
yes, I do want to be Okay, so for the audiences and for us that don't know, mm. can you briefly sum up the context? Was it like she break up with him? Okay, so three year relationship. It was a mutual breakup, if my memory serves me correctly. Don't kill me if I remember wrong. But uh, yeah, it was a mutual breakup. It was quite uh, serious. And so uh, I don't think he's like, it, it hurt la, the breakup. It was not something where he saw the signs and said like, right. okay, la, look back at it. Right. So uh, it did hurt. And I think going to the bar and just like, I, all I did was really like just sit there and listen. Yeah. And like the then the more <laughs> the more he drinks, then the more he he decides to talk, and then eventually he in a club, no bar, not a club, like a, a bar. Oh, like, like just, I like you know, know, you know where it's cup page, no? Because you cannot A place that sells to drink, cup page. <laughs> okay. No. Ah, <sighs> not five. Uh. <laughs> Is that thing still there? Five tapas. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Throwback stickies. Uh, why not? Like, <laughs> five tapas, right? Yeah. Ah, then at the end is the cable cable <laughs> car. No, no, no then they got the popcorn. No, okay, five is where okay. I had my heartbreak. But, like, okay, yeah, but yeah, yeah, his oh. one was another bar. But, so uh, it's a budget heartbreak. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, I can buy a hotel yourself. So, <laughs> so <laughs> and then I don't know whether it helped, to be honest. But at least <laughs> like for that night, I felt like I was there for him to mm. at least yeah. not be alone and be able to, at least you're not having it all in your brain all in your brain and you can just verbalize let it out. out. Yeah, 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 let yeah. it out to me. Let me be your sounding board. Anything you want to say, there's no judgment zone here. Mm. Nice. You're a real bro. I'm a guy. Shout out to... Uh, You're a white guy? Guy's guy? I don't know. <laughs> What's, What's, that? That guy's guy? What's that? What do you think is a guy's guy? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a bro. bro a guy's guy is... Hey, you my girlfriend. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not a guy's guy. Any house, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. What's a guy's guy? Is that you want to fuck me? <laughs> no, but that's what I'm thinking also because like I think the person that my friends would go to is a girl's girl. Uh, like someone uh, uh. that you feel like is going to be there and be able to support you, right? He's an asshole. La. He was always the yeah. asshole. La. That kind of. Yeah. What I've realized is that I'm not the friend that people go to when they're going through a breakup. <laughs> like people love to come to me for relationship advice, right? But then I've never heard of any of my friends that break up. As in, by the time I hear about it, it's been like two weeks. They talk to other people already. Right, it's right. Like when they're, they're going through the process of the breakup, they don't really come uh, to you. Not, not You're a, a fixer, not a, not a comforter. <laughs> she also says, she said, I'm the person you only go to if you need like logic. Right, right. Like if I need some sense, I know that I'm going yeah. like... No, because right, there, there are two kinds of people, right? And this is something that I also <laughs> noticed, like... Uh, you are the kind that you come to me if you want to solve a problem. Mm. Then you come to, then you go to this person when you want them just a listening ear. Mm. Then it's very difficult to, to, to choose also. But yeah. I do think that sometimes in a breakup, right, you need to go to the person who can help. It's not just always listening because then, then that just becomes like re-emphasizing right, and not really no clarity. La. But it's the stages of grief. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyway, yeah. so therefore I have looked up a listicle about how to actually help a friend. My list of things not to do during ah. when trying to help a friend through a breakup. Number three is do not bash the ex. <gasps> Don't. Like physically. Especially if there's a risk of them getting together back. Getting, getting back together. together back. <laughs> I forgot the word. I just tried to add uh, it back. We are okay, never okay. getting back together. But yeah, especially if your friend was in a bad relationship or had a bad breakup, you might feel compelled to immediately trash talk the ex. But this isn't helpful. Hmm. Don't trash the ex. Mm. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes, sense, makes sense. We're all people. <laughs> Ex this is exactly what the article said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you no, write this literally, article? Literally, I tried to remind myself that we yeah, are all human, human, including my exes. Okay, okay. So guys, I've been working <laughs> on my writing. <laughs> <laughs> it's your Side name. Gig, uh, right? Shwarvana Sri is your name. What a pen name. <laughs> 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 what if the ex cheat? What if the, the guy or the girl right, did something horrible? Could have been them. Beat? Then you still, you still be like, mm, I cannot see. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to be sure. <laughs> That's not my voice. I cannot <laughs> what if your friend Guy is the reason for the cheat? That she was no, not no, no, providing no, no, no. But, in the relationship. But if your the, the partner of your friend beat the f out of him or her, partner <laughs> of went from friend. cheating to beating. No, that is then not that is why one. they break up. Oh, I still love him. Oh no no no! That then you, then you still your friend. So you do the second <laughs> beating. <laughs> Clearly that didn't work. <laughs> Step out of it. Her attack is... <laughs> also, it's also a dance move, but it's one. It also ass. K-pop. Oh! oh. <laughs> a mistake. We were yeah. at the club that Jared Bench did. That was <laughs> what? I don't go clubbing. <laughs> you were at the next table. <laughs> 
another breakup. Something but totally different. Different that, approach. That doesn't look like a breakup to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why are they so happy over there? <laughs> I'm jealous by the way. Oh, okay, okay. Wondering why they're having a good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were thinking about why he and the guy having a good time. <laughs> I'm a guy's guy. Like <laughs> Whoa, fuck this. Next! Okay, okay, so next, okay. One, next one. Random, next one, random, next one, random, random one. number. Next one is do not rush the process. Why? <laughs> Wait, so how long should we take? As long as you need. How do you know yeah, what's the right There is no timetable for grief. Hmm. How do you, do you have your own... Oh. Like how long do you? Isn't there a mathematical equation to this? Ah, ah. Oh my god, <sighs> the length of the relationship divided by two. Yeah. No, it took me two days. What are you talking about? Your relationship four days. No, no. divide. <laughs> our, wait, divide our times. Divide. How to times? Two? That's crazy. Two? What if you're four relationship? That, you that's <laughs> cry for eight years. <laughs> uh? Hey, don't say that. You really cry for eight years. Uh? Oh, I need to edit my article. <laughs> <laughs> wait, this equation not in the article. No, but then I know it's divided by two. But then <laughs> Thank they you. say, yeah. okay, the general is that grieving of a relationship usually takes from six months mm-hmm. up to two years. What is that weird sound she made? <laughs> she made the comment. La. You make the sound, you better make a comment. <laughs> no, but I, <laughs> that relationship that I had was like, what, about mm, eight months long when I was a child. I mean, when I was a, a child? A child? No, when I was like 16, 17, and you know, young. And then like, it took me like two days. I cried for two days and then the following days, I just like hang out with my friends and Ouch, so you done. never really loved him? Probably not lah, I was so young, right? Ouch. How about, you first, for two how days, about your yeah. first real breakup? Yeah, yeah, your uh, first The one love. that really hurt, you know? Uh, I'm not asking no, I'm gonna sound like a bitch now because like subsequently when the breakups <laughs> are from me so mm-hmm. then I already mentally prepped like I know that I wasn't break up with no, him but how long did you grieve the relationship for? You so know? you could still no. be in the relationship yeah. but you grieve yeah Ooh, oh the- uh Slow I, I wasn't like conscious about the grieving period. Heartless. Yeah, now I sound like the bitch, right? How uh? But no, anyways, but that's No, you that. don't sound like it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting because the writer did caveat that like oftentimes it <laughs> might feel punch me. Yeah. oftentimes it might feel like you already healed. But then there are random days that just shoot you back to what you felt on yes. day one. Yes. Mm. <laughs> No, it's just like something that triggers, like something familiar or something, like yeah. a certain song you guys So then that's to. when you realise I'm not over her. It's not that you're not over her, it's just that the scars just have healed, but the wound is still So your, your wife is okay if you say when you listen to this song, wow, this really reminds me of my ex and how much it hurt to break up with her. It's when you don't say it. <laughs> No, it's like the whole diagram of grief, right? Where you are a bouncing ball, this is your grief, and then in like a box, right? Uh-huh. Then as the time passes, the box just get bigger, but the ball remains the same. But it, when you- Touch the edge. Yeah, then touch that's the edge. That's where you remember, oh no, I still miss her. And then it never fits perfectly in the corner, right? You know, like the DVD. Yeah, yeah, looking at the office thing. I knew it. The DVD thing. Honestly, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Like when mm. I'm in her bed, sometimes then like <laughs> still it triggers. Yeah, yeah. Because you got no uh, mind. I'm eating her mom's like food. Oh, oh, oh. So <laughs> I got you say food. I got you say food. <laughs> so, uh, what else do you do? <laughs> it is what the one. What do you eat? <laughs> okay, there is a part two to not bashing the ex though, oh. which is to validate your friend's feelings. Mm. So you have to validate your friend's feelings, but I want to kill him. Not while bashing <laughs> the <To> ex. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's okay, like a, yeah, yeah. That must have been really hard for you. So to acknowledge what they've been through and how they're feeling, I hear you. You know. Right. Okay, is it annoying, right? Because I always say this when my friends come to me when they break up. Uh, it's okay, you deserve better. Like, he really is a, you know, I think mm. you feel... <laughs> mm, it's super annoying. Yeah, fuck no it. Annoying, it's, it's like, so annoying. It's just equivalent to house life. Because oh. what you're creating... <laughs> no, no, what, honestly, no. what you're creating, you're creating expectation and entitlement. Mm. Mm. Why do you think why? you deserve better? No. The, work, continue to work on yourself because you're a mm. work, pro, work in progress. No, and and then the right person ideally will come along. Mm. But you deserve better means that you are perfect where you are already. Don't change. He's all, all the blame is on him. Then there's no lesson for this person to learn from this relationship. And you're also bashing mm. their ex. Yeah. And I also feel like to get over the relationship, right, you need to be able to respect the relationship mm. for what it was Acknowledge that it happened and meant to be for you. The lessons yeah. that you learned from it. Yeah. 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 Because that everything brought you to that place. Yeah. Everything mm. put you there. That's your life. Yeah. That's your lived experience. Man. Yeah. And no, you need to acknowledge that that was valuable for yeah, you. No one comes out of a relationship like not learning anything. Like, if you do, then. Good okay, luck, so good luck what have you learned yeah. from the eight month relationship? <laughs> That I was a control freak. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, quite crazy. No, but it that sounds like you haven't learned. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in a relationship with me? So hard to Why control. Why you <laughs> So do you still think you are controlling? No, of course not. Like, huh. I learned from that, right? I mean... <laughs> I gave sp- I give, I'm giving space to my partner. No, as much as I was talking about how like I don't agree with that, that you should say that, right? Mm. But... 
taking the actual action to process and be able to learn from that relationship and acknowledge that it's just part of your life, that, that is a very difficult process in itself. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yeah. Th- and I don't want to make it sound like we're just like, just do it lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that some people watching might be going through a breakup right now. So, mm. And that is what they're going through. I do think that comes a lot later. And I think yeah. you don't realize the lessons that you have learned until you are trying to get into a new relationship. Really? No, 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 Because a lot of the difference is how you are in a new relationship. Yeah. And then no, but you can reflect. Yeah, like, you, as, when as you who reflect, you were, like, you think about maybe two months down the road, you know. I, I also think that the maybe for some people, that's what they need. Mm. But for uh, like, it's not for everyone. Mm. I think some people cannot straight away get into a relationship yeah. because then they just keep repeating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree, yeah. yeah. And this, this, this whole like, Processing it and learning, taking away lessons from it shouldn't be a day one thing of the breakup. <laughs> That's why I say like at least one day to like, you know, mm. just be sad. In in this process, right, do you personally have any tips? Like when you're going, since you're, you're going to be a friend yep. for these people who are going through breakups now, right? What is one key takeaway that you would want to offer? Like for me personally is cut off all contact with your ex. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, not bad. yeah. Very, very important to be able to like yeah. force yourself to do that. Don't reopen the wound. Mm. And... Um, whether or not right that person or potentially you can get back together with your ex or whatever right you should have a clean cut first yeah. to like only reflect only hook up but don't talk no <laughs> to pro- reflect and process and hopefully your partner or your ex-partner right can do the same also and if both of you reach a point where both of you are healthy enough to like come back together and like mm. start something else then great but I think I want how to do you know when you're healthy enough how do you know when, when they are healthy enough when you that's the trick mm, you never do this happened to me and my ex <laughs> So then huh. we, I think we were lost contact for like, she blocked me everywhere, I think. She was like one and a half years. Mm. And then I, oh, I really cannot recall how we started talking again, but it was like crazy. Then we started talking. Then I think a few months down, something else happened in her existing ir- relationship. And then after that, uh, somehow, as in whatever was going through my mind, like, like I felt like I, had, I wanted to help. But how do you know if she blocked you everywhere? No, after that we connect back, ma. After oh. one and a half years, we got we talk again, and then it was her current relationship. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Then after that, something happened between her and her partner, and then after that I intervened, and then it didn't turn out well. Then we like stopped talking since then. But then that was when I kind of realized that like we were not ready to be in each other's lives because mm. we had, I mean, on one hand we had lost so much of each other's growth in the time period that we were not talking. Mm -hmm. And then we had also become such different people. And then like the way we handle conflict and all that is also very different already. So then we just realized that like, it's terrible for us to be in each other's lives and then we never talk again. I feel like the the, the whole getting back or like continuing a a relationship of of any sort, right? Even if it's a friendship, right? With your ex, right? It's so difficult because right, everything is so sensitive. Yeah. I, I, okay la, <laughs> may, maybe if it ends very it, very funny, ugly yeah. if it ends a little bit ugly yeah. mm. it's harder this, what what are you are, do the pros really outweigh the cons of having this person in your life still you know if not right wow, it's, it's going to be so messy <laughs> tried it twice failed twice but it was also like the odd like closure that I needed because mm. like at the point of breakup I was not the one that initiated and then I just had a lot of what ifs in my head like for a long time and then plus my religion shit right mm. but then because of this it was really like a cut then I like wow we really like Jared said right, <laughs> like, we'll never have worked out scotch yeah. already yeah. <laughs> it's like forget it point <laughs> no, of no return so, so you tried to be friends after I, that yeah, reconnect I, and all that yeah so I tried uh, the two breakups that I've had like on both occasions, we tried to like remain friends like immediately, imme- immediately okay. after the uh, the breakup, and it mm. didn't work mm. like either time. But was the sex different? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a yes. No, as in no, no, as in there, as in there was no sex. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, calm down. No, but what made you realize that <laughs> it wasn't gonna work? Like what was the issue? Why no couldn't sexy why, trying. <laughs> why couldn't you stay friends? Stop it. <laughs> It's expectations, oh. So like when? <laughs> I really think. Why is this fake love? You process yeah. the same answer. Me, man. Yeah, okay. So... Then stop saying that. That's why you're the worker. <laughs> <laughs> like when you see the person that you've had feelings for before, uh, ha- start to develop feelings for other people. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why no, no. you love? No, I thought, like, thinking... I thought he's still trying... In my head, he's still trying to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, but then she's tr- getting into another relationship. So like... uh. <laughs> my more recent breakup is mm. uh, we broke up uh, and then we would remain friends and for one month it was okay we actually met for 
dinners and all that kind of like how are you how's things going talk in the capacity of friends and then suddenly in like the f- one month in like she said like oh uh, <laughs> I'm talking to someone else I'm using dating apps now like can you tell me like, can you tell me yeah, can you, you uh, can you give me like some tips uh, like what should I write in my bio testimony? like what we what went wrong in our relationship uh, so like that review, I can like work review. on myself uh. and then I was like this is way too soon right. for you to announce that you are going back on the market when no, for me I'm still in like the so that means you weren't ready yeah, I, was, you I was still healing I was like okay lah you know it was a four year relationship <laughs> like I'm gonna take oh. some time to heal and then like I'm I'm like something around two years <laughs> you know like <laughs> that, <laughs> the equation then, oh no that means she grieved before. Yeah, she grieved and then she just During a the month later it just like it 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 offended me in a way of like oh so so you could get over it in one month lah. Okay. Wait, okay, okay. It's I'm starting not- to see a pattern. <laughs> so that means right, in every relationship, right, their end right is different, one eh? Yes. One person the breaker is ends upper. within the relationship, the other person like say this person grieve, 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 then they just end, right? Then mm. maybe they just need to finish it off here. Mm. Then mm. the other person's one starts here. Mm. You're making mm. a lot of sense right now. Mm. Yeah. That's so Correct. interesting. For the breaker, for the guy who cannot break up, then it starts <laughs> when they break up. Yeah, la. for the one that initiate, usually the they processing would already was, start. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. that makes so much sense now. Which is why mutual breakup hurts the most. Because, because you, you start at the same time. You start at the same time. As in you're both trying, trying, trying to the end, and mm. you realize it really doesn't work, then. Oh. Right. It oh, must be the song. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, the break even song. Because you don't ever break up evenly. Okay, no. when, when the heart breaks, breaks no, we, we don't, don't break, break even. even. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We should start a karaoke like cover <laughs> channel. Hear us. <laughs> <laughs> it's Singaporean karaoke. But I was thinking about it, right? And I, I love and hate that we will get over it. As in, I love and hate that we will most likely be okay. Like after a breakup. Like I just cannot imagine like the fact that, you know the fact that I have planned my whole life with this person mm. and then after that, but knowing, right, that this was four years out of a 80-year-long life and then we are now in our 20s or what, right? This person and I myself am going to find someone else and I'm going to be able to move on. But then that does not make all the promises that we made together any less valuable or any less sincere as than they were when we made them. Right? So then... You know, as in, like, but, I hate that, like, all those, like, it's eventually going to mean nothing. But then, shouldn't you but find then comfort? I also love that, exactly, yeah, there's that comfort in that, like, I can get over it. So, it's so uh, confusing. It's not that it meant nothing. Yeah. Because in the span of those four years, it meant everything. Mm-hmm. So, no, but in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing, one. But without the four years, you wouldn't be who you are after. Yeah, it's the same as you know. It's the same as a job, right? Yeah. You might be doing this job. You might join this company. You might change here and there until maybe one day you might find a company that you stay at forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but or maybe halfway through, the next company that you join, maybe you think like, okay, maybe I'll stay here forever. You know, then it's the same. But right? everything you but did that doesn't in the previous mean that, job, ah, f- you know, some maybe some companies f- up, but maybe some are amazing. But maybe it's time for you to go. No, but imagine like as someone that had just split up, right? Then like the thought that your partner, that someone that you had loved for the past four years or what, right, is going to be perfectly able to move on. And then like, you wanting to hold on to that, but also realizing that eventually you are going to be okay. Mm. It's such an ironic feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is what I cannot wrap my head around. In a way, yeah. Would you you be able to package that into a piece of advice though? Or or some, like what is a takeaway for somebody who's listening to this? Who might be going through? A As in, I think right we did talk, we did touch about it. Uh, sorry, we did touch on it earlier on, which is that like you to be able to fully move on, you need to be able to fully respect the relationship and how it shaped you. Mm. So then, like, mm. it's not about like s- trying to find the reason of like ah, this person was just inadequate mm. and therefore yeah. we broke up. But to appreciate the time that you had together and be able to accept that as character building, right? Yeah, is the key to moving on. I feel. I mean, as a fairly religious person, do you not like uh, believe that everything's already set in place already? And I don't believe it's predestined. Oh, you don't believe in predestiny? Uh? You make your own. You make your own destiny. But along the way, there'll be nice little uh, add-ons <laughs> and like <laughs> surprises. It's complicated. <laughs> uh, there is actually a good analogy that I read into, as in because this is something that I've had also been questioning, right? Mm-hmm. It talks about how. As in, it is predestination and at the same time, it is not. Because, for example, I am going to... 
I watched a soccer match after it had been played. So me in this scenario is what God is. God knows essentially every single thing that is going to be happen. But then the players in that moment when they are playing, they have no idea what is going to be happening. Just because like God is outside of time and so that is like beyond that that dimension. Therefore the predestination thing doesn't exist. Right, 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 right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So if you're going through a breakup, maybe you just fast forward over that part. <laughs> yeah, maybe you watch your head a bit more. <laughs> just keep up. Sometimes you get stuck on the loading that I find not working well. <laughs> just refresh oh, and then jump ahead. I think a way to sum up what we were talking about earlier a little bit is that have somebody to talk to. So like for, for Jared, he was there for his, his friend, right? Hmm. Um, for you, it's about knowing how to be there for that person and all that. But if say you don't have that friend, then maybe you can look Here's John Paul's number. I don't save John Paul's number, so I actually don't know his number. I do. For $500, <laughs> I will do 10 minutes. Of therapy? No, la, just talk talk. Oh, okay, okay. If you're going through breakout, what? <laughs> Extortion, oh, no, sir. How much would it pay for you to be a rebound? Huh? <laughs> to make the ex jealous. So I'm the rebound. Uh, <laughs> see, now I get with celeb. But what, what do I have to do? Take picture with them, is it? To yeah, prove like, like, like social media uh, posts. Hot, hot launch. Yeah. Hot launch. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to launch something hard? <laughs> you can do that. I don't understand want. this yeah. lingo. What, no, what do you mean by hot launch? launch? What's that? I post pictures <laughs> like, publicly, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, like must put subtle. this person on your Instagram. Then Basically, oh, act like, oh, yeah. I thought he had something to do with like <laughs> nothing, the nothing sexual. getting the relationship. Everything oh. to do with posturing. Ha, mm. ah, so that means. I'm just being used. Yeah. <laughs> for money. So how how much? Much? Oh, for money. Uh, how much? How much? Okay, how much? Okay. What's your minimum? What's your cost? A price? So like it's a package. Uh, social media posting. That uh. means I have to spend like maybe an hour, do photo shoot and a few uh. content. Mm. Then you post uh. over the cost of like... I one, have to post? Yeah, both post. Once a week. <laughs> I see, I see. So that means loading fee on their end yeah, and then yeah, yeah. for me, it's my yeah, own yeah. posting. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. whole pricing structure. 200k. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, uh, uh. I think it will... Maybe... Okay, okay. Okay, honestly... <laughs> Since I know you're going through a breakup, uh, you discount. quote heartbreak for twenty percent off, right? Mm-hmm. I give you maybe like oh. five thousand before discount. Oh, there's a Shopify yeah. so list. So after <laughs> discount, it's only four thousand dollars. Cheap, cheap, good, good. Cheap, okay, cheap, okay. Good. Uh, then all the advertising companies don't know your rate card. <laughs> They're just like, oh, I break up. No, but how many times can I do this before they realize that? It's, <laughs> <laughs> and then the fact that I'm marketing it, right? Then they all know. Also, your loading now need to consider the three month cooling period. Yeah, so. yeah, oh, sorry, five thousand ex- not including ex- loading. <laughs> Loading must include the period, ma. The exclusivity okay. clause. Oh, Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow, no advertising with other so brands. So maximum three, three months? Yeah. Enough to sell it to hurt the person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one month lah. <laughs> See that I get, I get <laughs> over you so quick <laughs> and somehow I get with Jonathan Ponathan. Okay, okay, anybody want to help me manage? Then I give you a cut. Okay, me. Okay, okay. So you do the back end. Uh, yeah. The back end. Uh. <laughs> 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 the back end. The letter H. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So we can do that to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below, slide into our DMs. R- uh, speed roast. <laughs> oh my god. No, no bashing the ex. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought you were going to. Oh my god, where did this go? Uh, we hope we help you to laugh and uh, uh, and hopefully that numb the pain a little bit. But, for uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, therapy help for me. Therapy, therapy. <laughs> Break it up into the syllables. <laughs> it's three syllables. Okay, therapy helped me. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> therapy helped me quite a bit so. For a breakup, you went to therapy for a breakup. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Because oh, the relationship caused the depression. Or triggered right, right. the depression, right. la, yeah. Uh, so therapy helped a fair bit in terms of helping me to process. Mm. Then but then again also it was ideal because like I said, I have friends and then all that, and then they helped me to process what I was. Um, kind of like gathering from the therapy also. Towards the tail end of one of my relationships, right, I actually started going to therapy because right, I was feeling so horrible about it, right? Mm. Um, and the whole relationship, right? Uh, so I, I went and then as I started to list out everything that I was feeling and kind of explain my, 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 my situation, right? The therapist started to draw um, <laughs> connections oh. and, and all of them started to... St- the, the realization came that they, all mm. the problems and everything that I was dealing with and all the feelings and all that right, stem from relationship. Yeah. Mm. So if that is the cause, then you really need to evaluate why and and and, and what this relationship is doing to you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, best breakup song. Can't recommend. I I recommend tra- love. Oh, L U V love by Travis. If you listen that one, you sure. I cry. never hear before. Oh so. wait, you want them to cry? Uh? Feel. To vent. Your Taylor pain. Swift all too well. Ten minute version. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it the uh, SGAV? SGAV. Speaking yeah. of fuel, you know, wow, recently I Robbie Williams like beach yeah. Oh, they make <laughs> the documentary. Ah, ah, ah. Then my tattoo artist playing it right. Then I end up watching the whole thing. I, I totally not interested, but I end up watching the whole damn thing. Wait, it's on the ceiling. The then TV. now I cannot. No, let's no, go I home and watch. To the side, eh? uh. Uh. No, but now I, my is on replace yeah. It's like all my like songs is Robbie Williams. <laughs> go and watch Eternity. Uh, go and listen to Eternity. Wow. Breakup song. The fucking the first. I, I just okay. I play for you the opening okay, chords. Thank you. Uh, you all, oh, the opening chords. Chord. <laughs> opening chords. Opening chords. Yeah. Okay, we need to try to recreate this song. Yo, my yo, 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 Sad, sadder, a bit of hope. Back to sad. Wow. Music theory on this guy. <laughs> this motherfucker. Okay, Jared, Feels best breakup song. Wait, I just say it, what? <laughs> wow. hey, 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 this guy. Minor set, minor set, and major. <laughs> the chord, right? Cannot play on it. Huh? I, tr I try. Yeah, my hand bong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he got three hands. Confirm. <laughs> Wait, I already say already, what? Taylor Swift. Uh, okay, okay. okay. I'm such a bitch. Eh. There was one, as in, I. I sent my ex right this song right to hint at a breakup. Wow. <gasps> what? I'm horrible. I'm horrible. And and I'm also an old soul, right? So I only listen to like at that time I listened to like air supply. So as what? Air, air supply. supply. Air supply. Okay, okay. Making love out of nothing at all. No, I was <laughs> I was young, so not that didn't mean anything to me that song. Wait, but making love out of nothing is what masturbating. Uh? <laughs> but oh, I that's sent, why with your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him goodbye. But as wow. supply. <laughs> that wasn't very subtle. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's so hey, meaningful. Uh, what was the notes? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. My Major. My Major. My <laughs> minor or Major. So that's the, my breakup song. Goodbye. That's and your song, two breakups. <laughs> what the f? Oh, that's true. So you can see the He's pain looking in his eyes. Uh. <laughs> she wouldn't know. She just sent him the Spotify link. <laughs> my song is a recent song by somebody that not everybody likes. Sean Mendes. Ah. Oh, the NPC, in my blood. NPC singer. It's called It'll Be Okay. How does it go? <laughs> Got feels or not? Got feels or not? Feels. Yeah. The the lyrics. Lyrics. Major, major, the minor. Lyrics. We might have to cut this part out or mute this part, but you see our expression again. It's for the, all the people out there that your partner leave you, not you initiate the breakup. Your partner okay, leave you? Uh? Wow. As wow, your never partner wants your, <laughs> <laughs> your partner relate. initiate the breakup and not you. Partner initiate what if I What up? if I initiate that I regret then the person say, no, no, still have to break up then. Let me look for a that's song for me. you. No, so that's me. Oh. <laughs> okay, but cool. Is she's playing the song. Okay, the chorus. Okay, okay. So if you tell me you're leaving, I'll make it easy. It'll be okay. We don't have to fix it. We don't have to stay. I'll love you either way. Ayo. Okay, okay. We later we share the songs. Then we all go listen. Okay. <laughs> then see where to go. We we'll put the Spotify playlist. Okay, yeah. See the who daily catch up breakup. Up. <laughs> the daily catch up breakup playlist. You know there are no happy. There's like, so few happy love songs. Why? Why you would there be? Try name one happy love song. Like I love song. I, I love you like a love song. It's all about you. About you. It's all about you, baby. <laughs> Never heard this song before. McFly, McFly. <laughs> yeah. old oh. primary school one. Okay. Yeah. Can I say McFly. one popular one? Uh, no. Hey there, <laughs> <laughs> hey there Delilah. Hey there Delilah. It's a happy song. Oh, like? Yeah, he's gonna sell his guitar so he can pay the like bills. What's it like in New York City? I'm not there, ma. Take me to no. church. That's not a love. Song. <laughs> that's not even a church no, song. It's a Gomez making song. love song. The Selena Gomez song. I I love you like a love song, baby. Oh, no, that's, that's not. Uh, but paper, it's a love song. Taylor Swift. Thank you. You've been debunked. We did not. No, 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 no. We proved you wrong. We didn't yeah, prove we your point. Debunked. Debunked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it turned out to be quite a good conversation. Very anyway. awesome. Okay, so thank you very much for watching today's episode. Stay strong and stay strong for whoever you need to stay We're strong. We are here for you. Aha. Uh -huh. Slide into our DMs if you want our red cards. And then we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Hashtag rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I that's but married. also I don't pull everything out. Like oh. it's more like a, uh, oh, I'm just I, I will drop a bit of oh, I'm feeling this, this, this. I this thing is happening to me. Yeah. And then that's it. Even though I still have these big feelings, I'm trying to unpack. Right. I will just say oh, thanks very much. That's all I need. <gasps> oh my god, yeah. I know what it is really. What? It's the same as me masturbating. So, <laughs> go for it. Help. So I mean, not the masturbating. The very <laughs> first time oh, I tried to masturbate in my life. Mm. I, I like touch, touch, touch. Then I'm like, oh, I get the sensation. Because right? my friends all convinced me, hey, wow, shook. Mm. So I go and try. They won't lie. Then, right, the problem is that I never got to the ejaculation. Uh. So that was, I thought that was all masturbation worse. Uh. Then, right, years, and this is crazy because it's years later. Eh. Okay, like a couple years later. Then I decided to try again. I don't know why. 
Then this time round, right, I felt like, wait, there's a funny feeling. Oh, 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 ho, 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 ho. Wait, I'm waiting for the link back to this. Then I ejaculated. <laughs> and then they, that was the full feeling. Yeah. That is what masturbation is supposed to lead to. So you <laughs> kind of are like teasing a bit, but you're not fully opening up. And so that yeah. you, so because of that, right, you don't fully get the feeling and the, and the, and every, all the takeaways of going through the process of actually opening up to somebody else. Yeah, edging your and emotions. And that is how your conversation with Denise is connected to me masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> so what we've been doing so far is only edging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need emotional ejaculation. 